Hello everyone, my name is Alan, I'm from Soberlab, and today I will explain how to install and configure MergeFS. Okay, what is MergeFS? I will give some examples for you that is basically easy to explain. You guys know about this? Yes, it's a Raspberry Pi. This Raspberry Pi is a strong computer and uses low power. They work in the ARM system, but of course have some limitations. One of those that they only have a USB connections. They don't have a SATA connection. What's the problem for it? If you want to make a pool with uh, four external hard drives or more, you can want to put external USB hub and connect more hard drives, you can do it. But if you do rate, you have a risk to lose all your data. Why? If you start this system with uh, two or three hard drives missing for a rate, if you do a RAID 5 and you miss two hard drives, basically your RAID is broken. And if your RAID is broken, you need to recover it. I don't say that's impossible, but it's quite difficult. And if perhaps you write any information on the top of these two hard drives that uh, was remain, or you write anything in the top of your RAID, basically you're done. And it will take really long time to recover this data. And of course, it's not good to joke with data. So the best way is to use a different way. Uh, the different way that I will suggest is MergeNF, that they will create uh, data between all these hard drives, and that if you lose one, one hard drive, you still have the remaining data intact. As well, you can still share this data between all these hard drives. If you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show. But first, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and let's go to see it. Before I go to the explanation how to configure the Merge F, I will explain some basic things about RAID 5. Here is an example for the RAID 5. Supposedly I have three hard drives, minimum to do a RAID 5, and that I have all the data here. I have data 1, data 2, and parity for data A. And then I have data B, parity for data B and B2, and the same thing, parity for data C, C1, and C2. Now let's say that this hard drive I lose, the first one. So I will still have the data A and parity for data A. Parity for data B and data B. And that's all the integrity for the data C, so I don't lose my data. But if I lose two hard drives, then I don't have anything to recover. So I have only parity for A and partial data B and partial data C, so I lose my data. Uh, the Merge NF it's not for protection. Remember, the Merge NF F, it's a little bit different. If I come here from Merge NF, I get a little bit uh, schema how it's work. Basically, I have a hard drive disk one, two, and three, and here I have data, data, data. We file one, two, five, six, nine, ten, and the same thing for the folder for fo pictures. Photos three, four, six, seven, eleven, twelve. When they, you do your merge, they will create basically data 1, 2, 5, 6, 9, 10, and the same thing. If perhaps you lose this hard drive, you're going to lose the data 1, 2, 3, 4. So this system don't make you save against of a hardware fail. But at least if you lose one hard drive or two hard drive, or for any reason, they don't start when you boot it, you don't lose all the data or you don't lose the rate. Basically, you still have the data tree and you can recover data two and one, apart that hard drive fail, you know? But if you disconnect and connect again and the hard drive recognize and that you still able to create this merge NF again. To make more sense, let's uh, get OpenMedia for open, then I can explain a little bit more about it. One of the previous video explained how to install OpenMedia for. And that's uh, here I can go to the storage and I have my RAID configured here, where I have the hard drive B, C, D, E, and E. And here my file system. If you're using a computer, they are quite stable. It. But if you're using a Raspberry Pi, it's a USB connection. And anytime you can lose the connection for a USB. So what I will suggest to you, let me go to the process that you're gonna understand. Let's first remove these share folders. I come here and I will remove the first share folders in the Samba. Then I come here in the share folders and remove these two share folders that I have. 
After this one, I come here my rate and I remove my rate. After it, I come here in my file system and remove my file system. I stop it. And now I can come here in my rate and remove my rate. Basically, all the hard drive, it's no rate at all. So basically, we're gonna mount our four hard drives. So we come here, create, and we create the first hard drive. And we're gonna format as a BTRFS. You can format as X to four because it's less than 12 or 16 terabytes of data. If you're using hard drive bigger than it, do a BTFS, don't do X to four because not work. But let's make the format for all this hard drive. In this way, you can have different size of hard drive as well. You don't need it to have exactly the same size. Imagine that you have a hard drive of four terabytes, another one for three, another one for one. You can do this way as well. But don't forget to use exactly the same format for all the hard drives. Let's create my first file system. Let's mount all my hard drives now. Okay, we have all our three hard drives connected. I could do the fourth, but three only for have an idea. Now I come here and we create a share folder. I'll create a folder called data for each one, data one. And I put for the first hard drive and I save. The same thing I do for data two. Basically now I create all the four files, data one, two, three, and my merge, where they will merge all my data. So now I can share this data now I can go in the Samba and I can share this data. After we have all our folders shared, we're gonna open our data and see what we have inside. Basically we have data one, two, three and merge so we can start to configure our merging F. To do it, we need to install this application first. To do the installation, we're gonna open our putty and install this application. Here in our put, first thing that we need to do is update our system before we do any installation. To do our update, we need to run our command sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. So our system will be update and upgrade before we do any installation, otherwise, potentially will not work well the installation of MergeNF or any other installation. Let's run and wait it. It will take some minutes, so let's wait to finish the installation. Okay, after we have our open media valve updated, we're gonna clean the page, be a little bit more tight, and we're gonna install our MergeNF. To do the installation, we're gonna run the follow command. sudo apt install mergefs, and we run it. it, will take some seconds until they finish and done. Now we're gonna check the version that we are running. The version that we are running, it's a version 2.32.4. So we can run it in version 2.32.4. Now we're gonna uh, configure our margin F. To do the configuration, we're gonna open our Notepad++. In our Notepad++, we're gonna follow the, we're gonna use this command. Don't worry, this command I will leave in the description so you can use it and it will save your time. But basically to explain a little bit will be sudo mergenf and that I want to do the default configuration. I want to allow other users. They will have a use into category MFS, move, uh, move around the files and that's minimal free space. What means that is this minimal free space? Uh, suppose that I will run some movies and these movies that I will put in this file could potentially have 50 gigabytes if I use a 4K. So I should put as a minimum for 50 gigabytes or they will have the problem that they will start to transfer big files and they say, oh gosh, it's too big, they will not work, you know? This reason you need to put the file according from the size of the file that you're gonna transfer. If you're gonna transfer each time one terabyte of data, so you need to put uh, one terabyte. But my case, because my hard drive is only 30 gigabytes, if I put 50 gigabytes, they will not transfer anything. So I will leave as a one gigabyte. Now we're gonna define the folders that we're gonna use. In my case, I come here in my open media file in the part of uh, share folders, and my folders, it's these ones. So I want first this folder. I come back for my merge and put my first folder, two dots, and come here and get my second dot folder, and I pass the second one, two dots, and I get my third one, and pass here. 
basically they will make a poof between these three folders and it will put aleatory and define okay first i will put in this folder then i put this folder then i put this folder according from the usage therefore all the folders will have a part of the data now i want to define what will merge it i will give you space and i want to merge everything in this merge nf and i come here and pass this merge nf have this one in mind now i can copy this command and run in the putty I will come here and run exactly the same that I did. Only remember if you make it correctly, this first one will be where they will save and here where they will mount it. Have this one in mind and run this command and let's see if it's work. So to check if it's working, I will come here in my margin F and I will come here and create a file that I call text. And now I check which one that they save, they save in a tree. If I keep creating more files, they will save in different folders. If I create more files, they will start to save in merge one, two, and three, and will share it. If I save big files, they will put partial data in here, partial data here, partial data here, in the order to be the same quantity. Remember, they are not protected against a fail. If I lose the data one, all the data that's in the folder one, they will lose. If I lose folder two, all the data, and continue on. This one is good to use in Raspberry Pi. This idea will be good as well to create our folder when we combine all the information for our G drive in our R clone and our local drive. So you have uh, both data in the both locations and we can imagine, manage it to sonar, radar and lidar to save everything initially for the local data. After this one, they will move all the information for the local to the drive. So you first save in the drive so first you move in local and that you still have time to move everything in the drive. This is a good option that I will show in the next video. Uh, if you like this video and think that it was interesting, leave your like. If you don't like, leave your dislike. Subscribe for the channel and see you next video. Bye.